Matthew threw 148 caps for Wales and played three tests for the Lions. You'd think you'd had life made. The glory, the fame, the adulation, the financial rewards. But what about when it's over? Well, some players go into coaching, some go into work for the media, some excel in business. But what about those who are left in the wilderness? Well, I've come to meet somebody today who's got a poignant story to tell about that. It's David James. actually score for your country and you know get that buzz but when that white line just appeared got the ball down and then just celebrate and jumping up and the crowd are just cheering for you what was life like for you then as a an international rugby player a star international rugby player on the crest of a wave just feeling invincible untouchable to a certain degree and just uh, living in the moment and loving life the euphoria just hits you like a big tornado really and you know the crowd just erupts and it's sublime it's one of them things that you can't really describe properly the hairs on the back of your neck it's the best feeling the best buzz in the world and then someone could just flick a switch and it's gone the end when it came in rugby for you was quite brutal yeah it was brutal and uh it hurts it hurts now to talk about it you know um the career was mapped out i was going to be a conditioning coach for a professional outfit and uh i found myself going from a path which i was gonna go down to an unknown i hit a, a, a big black spot in my life uh, you know I've been quite open I suffer with depression anxiety and and I didn't know quite what it was at that stage tell us about how and, and when the depression really took hold uh, well I, I suffered bouts during my playing career it, it was hard really and you know I could, there's times in my career when I couldn't even laugh I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror you know really critical and cr uh, critical of myself and, and everything that I did um, and I was never good enough unfortunately I was going through uh, a, a difficult patch in my in my marital state I went through a divorce and found myself living in the back of my car wondering where I was gonna go what I was gonna do the support wasn't there and, and I you know I went to take my own life a couple of times and uh, yeah it was it was tough Yes, people remember you, but you're the guy that used to play rugby, not the guy that is playing rugby. My jerseys, my caps are in a plastic bag in, in my bedroom, out the way. It's not something I look at. As it goes to the future now, Dav, what, what do you hope? Uh, yeah, good, good question. Uh, yeah, I'd like to look at, you know, for me, I think you've got to go with your passion. If I do health and well-being, helping other people struggling with mental health, I enjoy doing that. I enjoy helping other people. I think it's important um, for me to get my feet back on the ground, start enjoying. Um, sorry. You know, life goes on after your playing career you know you say you get to 35 36 if you're lucky you still got 20 30 years to work and if it, and if things can go wrong and they do go wrong life can get a hold of you and it can take hold of you very very fast what advice would you give to young players now coming into the game who've got the same ambitions that you've had i think it's important that you've got to follow your dreams if that's what you want to do don't let anybody ever tell you couldn't got to put in the hard work nothing comes easy in life you know if you have a talent nurture it 
you know, what I would say if people do get into the professional uh, realms of sport, I would plan as well ahead. I have that balance, that, that happy, uh, happy medium between the two of looking outside, sort of getting your own mental resilience and, and building for a rainy day. And I think that, that's the advice I'd give people. Enjoy the moment, work hard, play hard, but always keep your finger on the pulse with what's going on around you.